It has been a few weeks, but the Fox 10 News Vault is back. Yeah, and today we're going to go all the way back to 1975 when FAA regulations were first being enforced at Mobile Municipal Airport. Let's go to Bob Kennan now who reports. <laughs> The change at Mobile's Municipal Airport is in the form of policy enforcement for security and general operations in the ramp areas. The enforcement order comes from the new Municipal Airport Manager, Robert N. Sizmore, a retired Air Force officer who just took the job last month. Personnel here now wear FAA-required airport identification badges when in the ramp areas. The badge must be worn at all times or the employee may be barred from working in the area. Delivery trucks, construction workers, and other personnel who may need to be in ramp areas also must be given passes and ID cards. This FAA requirement has been in effect here for about a year and a half. But unlike most other major airports, Mobile did not enforce the rule, and the FAA had sent strong letters to city officials on the non-enforcement. It is different now. Well, as I say, we've, we've had uh, a good system, but this uh, really more formalizes the uh, system, and everyone knows what we're doing, and... Uh, this uh, security system that is uh, established and directed by the Federal Aviation Agency has paid off. What is apparent is that the Mobile Municipal Airport new manager is going to run this airport as other airports in the United States have been run for the past year and a half when it comes to enforcing all the Federal Aviation Administration regulations. And for the airport at Mobile, this is good news, even though some people might be a little upset about it. This is Bob Kennan reporting for Channel 10 Newsbeat.